it's all set. For your sake, Mark. I hope this is the right way. I promise you, it's the only way. One well-placed tracer bullet in the aircraft's fuel tanks, and she'll be a mass of fire in five seconds. And if they found the bullet, if they discovered sabotage, they'd roll out the second prototype and continue tests straight away. No, Kroner. Our accident must be made to look like a design fault. And you think it can be done? Play it my way, and I'll do just that. Hello, Dad. It's Anne. Anne, you're back. Oh, good, where are you? In a phone box, just outside London. I'll be home in the morning. Well, watch the traffic. I know what sort of driver you can be. All right, Dad. Goodbye. Theoretically, you should work. Hmm. I wonder. Psalms. What is this? What's happening? Let me introduce myself, Miss Soames. I'm Mark Slater, and this is my partner. I don't understand. What do you want? I suppose you could say we want you to help us destroy an airplane. <laughs> Coming down, Father. We were warned there'd be some inconvenience. Can't you do something about it, Father, before my nerves give out altogether? If you're preparing your sermon, sir, you could mention it. My sermon? No, Mrs. Appleby. These are just entries for the Rose Show. May 24th, 10.30 a.m. First successful projection of ultrasonic vibration. Distance 30 feet. Accurate to within one centimeter. Even at this early experimental stage, the destructive capacity of the weapon is evident. 
A second generation sonic rifle could have a firepower sufficient to destroy a tank, pulverize a blockhouse, or... Blow a prototype airliner clear out of the sky. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Uh, we are your new employers, Professor. We've come to offer you a contract. What do you mean, a, a contract? Uh, to develop your sonic rifle to the point we can make use of it. Uh, we want the second generation weapon you talked about. And we want it fast. I want nothing to do with the contract. Who are you? How'd you get in here? That's because you don't understand the terms, Professor. We've made them simple, easy to grasp. If you don't work for us, your daughter will be killed. How's that, Father? Good, Matthew. Very professional. All we need now are the rest of the roses. They're coming in slowly, Father. But Professor Soames is late as usual. Such a forgetful man. I think I'll phone him. Answer it. And remember, everything as normal. Hello? Professor, Father Unwin here. I was concerned about your entry for the flower show. The flower show? Uh, my entry? Everything as usual. Uh, I should have let you know earlier, Father. Apologize to Matthew for me. Tell him the dahlias will be there tomorrow. And uh, th that's a promise. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Well done, Professor. The dahlias will be there tomorrow. Very good. Matthew, since when has Professor Soames taken to growing dahlias? The professor? Oh, he's purely a rose grower, Father. You know that. Quite so, Matthew. Quite so. It's crazy. I too thought so at first. But the more I see of your father's genius, the more I change my mind. Yes, Bishop? Do you know a Professor Soames? I understand he is one of your parishioners. Yes, indeed. I was talking to him early this morning. That's reassuring. The professor's work is classified, and he did not report today as arranged. I hope nothing is amiss. It's funny you should say that, Bishop. I found the professor a little strange myself. I see. In that case, I think it might well be in order to pay him a visit. Of course, Bishop. I'll go over there in the morning. It's a Model T Ford, driven by some priest. Priest? Father Unwin to see you, Uncle. I brought your entry form, Professor. All entries for the Dahlia competition must be in today. Of course, Father. Now, if it had been roses, you would have had until Friday. Why don't you sign it, Uncle? Yes. And there, Father. And uh, thank you for coming. What's going on? Quiet. Panic over. He's leaving. All 
right. I've completed my calculations. I'm ready for the experiment. Let's go, then. No. First, you promised I could speak to my daughter. All right. I'll take you up. But remember, I've got the gun. Father Unwin, can you hear me? Yes, Matthew. Loud and clear, as they say. Where are you? On the professor's desk. The professor and his daughter are being held prisoner in the house. I surmise as much, Matthew. But why? Well, from what I can gather from his notes, the professor is working on some sort of rifle. Very interesting. I heard a demonstration mentioned. I'll know more if I can manage to watch it myself. Dad. Anne, are you all right? Yes, Dad. I'm all right. Oh, very touching. But we have work to do. How long will it take you to modify the equipment, Professor? Three, four hours. Good. Then you can give us a demonstration. Splitting a pane of glass is one thing. Step two is to see the sonic action on something more substantial. That rock, for instance. What's worrying that dog? Rex, quiet, boy. Shh. Quiet, Rex. Quiet. What do you intend to do? We have just received information of a special test tonight, one which will place great stress on the airframe of that aircraft. So you mean to go through with this tonight? Of course. We use your rifle, Professor, leaving no trace, no indication of sabotage. So that the accident inquiry concludes there was a design fault in the aircraft. And the whole project is returned to the drawing board. Let's get on with it. I see, Matthew. Ingenious. But I hardly think we can allow them to pull it off. <laughs> Excellent, Professor. Excellent. I think we're in business. Just a few more hours, Professor, and it will all be over. Mark, it's that priest. What again? What does he want? Well, he says he's come to collect the dahlias for the flower show. Tell him no. But wait a minute. We don't want to arouse his suspicion. Give him what he wants, Professor. But I, um... Uh, don't stall, Professor. Remember, we've got your daughter. The dahlias, where are they? Well, the garden's full of roses, but I didn't see any dahlias. You're right. You've been stupid, Professor, involving an innocent priest. Take him up to his daughter. I'll deal with Father Unwin. Move. Come on. Come on. I think they're on to you, Father. Be careful. Understood, Matthew. Oh, Father Unwin, do come in. Please, sit down. Ah, most kind. Most kind. I'm afraid uh, the professor is unwell. He, he's gone to rest. Uh, you came for the dahlias, I understand. Ah, yes, dahlias, yes, yes. Well, I get a confusing most with the dahlias and the joy of the rosy bud of the horticold. Horticold. 
I beg your pardon? Yeah, horticulture or culture. Push your case to me, Matthew, if you won't, please. Push your case? Yes, oh yes, yes. Or take it up to a higher court, because this is a deep joy if you understand. I'm afraid I find it difficult to follow your train of thought. Ah, train, yes. Now there's a thing. non stoppy most, St Pancras, Glade or Gland, Kingsley Cross, Scott Glade. Load, almost joyfold. Uh, let's stop this charade. You see, your little intrigue with the professor has been discovered. In that case, I must ask you to release the professor and his daughter, or take the consequences. I'm afraid you're in no position to ask anything, Father Unwin. But I must ask you to come with me. You'll be held here with the professor and his daughter until our um, business is completed. Very well, but I'm afraid you may regret it. Controller to zero one zero, over. Controller to zero one zero, over. Zero one zero to tower. Night test program six. Ready when you are. Clear for takeoff. Just relax and there'll be no trouble. A little to the lefty port load side, if you old Matthew. What are you talking about? Who is Matthew? Yes, Matthew, Mark, or Lukey John, if you understand. Oh, that's enough of yes, that. Yes, of course, but this the Angelo say of this, and there's a deep joy of it, I assure you. Let's cut out the chat, shall we? Eastman and I are leaving, Kroner. I'm sure you can handle the situation here. Leave it to me. Exactly right, Matthew. How did that happen? The value of a good book is often underestimated. Yes, but... Uh... No time for explanations. We must get after Mark and his henchmen. Oh, deep joy in the goodly workload, Matthew. Trittly how back in the case, and I'll pick you up later. Tower to zero one zero. Climb to twenty five thousand feet and begin test program. Over. Approaching test altitude. Embarking flight program six. Now. Model T. They've escaped. But how'd they get past Cronin? There's no time to worry about that. Get in the back and take care of them. You're holding them, Father. Yes, I am. But I'm afraid there's someone in the back with what looks ominously like your sonic rifle. got away. Professor, it is imperative we locate them. 
Impossible. They could set up the sonic rifle anywhere overlooking the runway in a hundred different places. There must be some way to stop them. Well, there is one possible way, but we'd need the cooperation of the airbase controller, and he'd never believe our story. Maybe if it were told to him by a bishop. Bishop? I don't see what good a bishop could do. And how would you contact him out here? Telepathy? You could say that. A father, Anwin, you said, sir? Give him full command facilities? Of course. If you say, sir. Full command facilities to a, a priest? Let the wheels touch and let her have it. Take her up. Immediately. Zero one zero. Abort landing. Full throttle. Ten, nine, eight, seven. What is it? Probably an overshoot. She'll come in again. What now, Father? I want another aircraft to fly over the airbase at Mach 3. Mach 3? Exactly right. What's happening? It should have landed 15 minutes ago. Shut up. Stand by. There's a plane coming in now. Stand by to activate. This is your chance. Here it comes. idea worked, Professor. But how? Well, the tremendous build-up of sound waves from that Mach 3 aircraft bounced back the sonic vibrations to the source and destroyed the rifle. <laughs> I'm happy to say, Father, there's a basic theoretical flaw in my design. I see. I had intended to correct the flaw in my calculations, but now somehow I think I'll stick to roses. Excellent idea, Professor. Matthew, I'm sure, will be delighted when I tell him. Where is Matthew, by the way? Oh, he's around. Near at hand, as always. Do 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 do